autism is the most common neurodevelopmental disorder of childhood. Chances are you have somebody with autism in your neighborhood or you have come in contact with somebody with autism every day, but you may not recognize them. Autism is a neurodevelopmental disorder. It emerges early in life. Uh, we define it by difficulties that individuals have with social communication and social engagement uh, and with a set of restricted and repetitive behaviors and special interests that interfere with day-to-day -day activities. At Jefferson, our students are trained to work with individuals with autism, and part of their training is about how to help individuals, such as those with autism, to lead healthy and independent lives so that they can participate in school, so that they can participate in activities at home, so that they can participate in the community. The A.J. Drexel Autism Institute is the nation's first and still only autism research center that's focused specifically on a public health science approach to autism. Our research really focuses on, on two key concepts that we keep in our mind. We keep in mind the concept of prevention and the concept of population. So we try to think about ways of preventing the disability that's associated with autism, and we try to think about ways uh, of doing that at scale so that it benefits everybody in the community. Here at CHOP, at the core, what we're trying to do is discover the causes of autism. One of the ways we do that is we study the genetics of autism. They're a really important spotlight into the cells in the brain and how they're functioning and how they're functioning differently. When we can understand that, we can come up with treatments, new medicines that alter the changes of those cells in the brain that affect really dramatic changes in the child. Over the last 20 years, one of the positive developments is the field of autism research has gone from a few hundred individuals across the world to now where we have thousands of individuals. It's a very positive development, but at the same time, the amount of funding for that research has not increased. In fact, in today's dollars, the, the actual amount of funding has decreased. The funding from the major sources, which would be the federal government and um, some very good um, autism-focused foundations, uh, is still quite limited when we compare it to other conditions. Alzheimer's funding currently is at a level about four times that of autism research. And if you think about it, Alzheimer's is a late onset condition. Autism is an early onset condition. So some of the impacts on mobility and quality of life are much greater. So we still need help on the funding front. Philadelphia is a hub for healthcare and uh, it's very, we're a very people-centered city. So it's just terrific that uh, autism is going to take center stage in Philadelphia and that the Eagles are bringing together three main players, big players in the world of autism. The three institutions are all world class. They all have different but complementary focuses. And I think if we work together and think creatively, the kinds of studies that we can do will be unmatched by any other groups in other cities around the United States.